Hey, it's Doug from the Rise Above Gym channel. And do you have tight shoulders or forward posture? Then I have some exercises for you. Let's start here. First things first, this is not for shoulder injuries. I just want to talk about exercises to help you with life getting in the way. So if we're computers or driving or even sports and we have this more forward posture, which doesn't allow our arms to get overhead or extend, these are the exercises I would do to start and then you can add more later on. I'm trying to keep it very simple and these are things you can do daily, either before your workout, after your workout, at night, just to open everything up. It shouldn't take too much time. Now if you have a foam roller, these aren't very expensive and most people have these lying around somewhere either at their gym or their house. This is where I would start and I'll show you a few to get you going. One we're going to do is open up the lats. So the lats are these big wing muscles. If you ever seen swimmers that have that big V back, those are the muscles. Most people don't know the, that the lat attaches to many places in the back, but it also attaches into the arm, the upper arm. And what that does is it brings the arm across and down. If this is tight and it goes up here and it's tight and it's pulling, it's gonna pull our arm forward and down like it's supposed to, but it's also not gonna allow us to get it back overhead when it releases. So we wanna release that muscle. One way to do that is to do a lat roll. I'm gonna get on the armpit area, thumb up, and I can just roll back and forth. I like to change angles, open up, roll back and forth, and just work that area. Roll my body forward a little bit and just try to get in that area. I'm not overly aggressive. You notice how I'm not lifting my hips and putting all my weight on there. I just wanna gently coax and massage it to open it up to help move it better going forward. The second one we're gonna do is some extension. So we're gonna be here and we're gonna do a little bit of a sit up with the upper back. I'm gonna keep my hips on the ground. I'm gonna have the foam roller up high first and I'm gonna have my arms across my chest and I'm gonna extend or bring my back behind the foam roller. What I'm not doing is lifting my hips or trying to lift my belly button too much. I'm trying to pull my belly button down as I extend my upper back. And I'm just gonna come back and forth. Now I'm also not rolling the roller to facilitate this. I'm trying to keep the roller still. If you need to, you can also bring your arms up overhead. It is a little bit more challenging. I'm gonna come up. But I'm really trying to pull my belly button down and thinking about stretching my body in two directions and then coming back up. What you also want to do is gradually move the roller down or up wherever you started and get that full elongation of that upper back and extension. So when we have tight shoulders, we're in flexion a lot, so everything's pulled forward. What we're trying to do is get the rib cage and everything to open up and get that extension in the body. So that's a good one. And you might get a few free chiropractic pops. One more with this long roller. We're gonna do something like a chest press on the roller. I'm gonna put it the length of my spine so my head and tailbone are supported. And I'm just gonna bring my arms up like a chest press. Now, the reason why we have the roller is we can get a little bit lower in the arms towards the floor. So my elbows are touching, which is good. And I'm coming back up, so I'm gonna do a couple in this area. And then, if that's easy, I'm gonna widen out and see if I can touch the floor. And then if that's easy, I can widen my arms See if I can touch the floor. And I'm just changing angles. Again, I'm thinking about pulling my rib cage down on this one because I don't want it to help lift and facilitate the movement. I want to really open up my shoulders. So there's no real right or wrong with the angles. You can even rotate your hands, which makes it a little bit more challenging sometimes. Going back beyond the head, reaching. Back of the hands, reaching. You just want to open everything up. 
One area most people don't think about when it comes to tight shoulders, because we focus primarily on the back and the shoulder itself, are the pecs. Now the pecs are the chest muscles, as we all know. The pecs attach into the shoulder. Now if they're tight, they're gonna pull forward and then pull that shoulder forward. So just think about our daily lives, computer, driving, holding things. That's gonna pull everything forward and limit your range of motion going upward. So we're gonna take another different type of foam roller. I like this round orb, they call it. And I'm gonna put it against the wall. And I'm gonna bring my arm behind me and I'm just gonna roll around. The reason why I bring my arm behind me is because it opens up the shoulder. And I'm just gonna find little areas of tightness. And I'm mostly rolling where the pec inserts into the shoulder, that tendon there to help massage that, get it warmed up and loosen up. And then hopefully I'm able to raise my arm a little bit further. Bands, great tool for your workouts. I use these in every workout that I do. You can buy them super cheap and you can throw them in your gym bag and then use them in between sets or for warm-ups. And they're great for helping those tight shoulders. The first one we're gonna do is a little bit of overhead flexion. We're gonna grab the band with an overhand grip. The wider I am, a little bit more lax it is. The closer I am, the harder it is. We don't wanna make this difficult. We wanna use this as a mobility exercise. It's not a strength exercise. So I'm gonna grab, for starters, just a little bit outside my body. Now, the most important thing is when we do this is we're not lifting our rib cage or flaring our rib cage. It's very easy to get to a point where it's tight and go, oh, I'm really good and I can lift my rib cage and get further. We don't wanna do that. So I'm thinking about pulling my rib cage down firmly to the floor as I lift overhead. I am also thinking about pulling my scapula or my shoulder blades down as well and that helps me be a little more conscious of the movement. So for me, this is where I'd stop today, and then I'd back off, go a little bit more, back off, there's the train, a little bit more, pulling down firmly, and then backing off. I can also widen up a little bit to get a little bit further. But the goal is to simulate this overhead movement without lifting our rib cage, keeping the rib cage down, and being able to get the band overhead. Another one I like is the opposite. We're gonna do a little extension. We're gonna bring the band behind our back. You can do either grip, we're gonna do both. I'm gonna grab overhand, shoulders down. I'm gonna tuck my pelvis and I'm gonna extend this way. Again, I'm not dropping now. I'm pulling my rib cage neutral and pulling my shoulder blades down as I extend. Closer my hands are, harder, wider, a little bit more range of motion. We're gonna flip it. So now my palms are upward, shoulders down. And getting that extension without moving my rib cage. The last band one, and I personally put this in Pretty much every single workout I do, I try to do about 100 reps, not in a row, I'll do 20 here, 20 there, is the pull apart. So if you've ever seen a Joe DeFranco video, he is big on these, I am too. I got it from him a long time ago. But we're gonna do a overhand grip, shoulders down, and I'm gonna squeeze my shoulder blades. So I'm not pulling with my arms, I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together, and when I do, I keep my rib cage down and then I control back. It is very easy to leverage this with up high shoulders, pulling with your arms and going, oh, this is easy. No, we wanna drop our shoulder blades, pull down, keep squeezing our shoulder blades together and then controlling back. This is personally how slow I go when I do these, especially working that negative or going back. Yes, it is a little bit of a strength exercise, but you will find if you are very tight in the shoulders, you're not gonna be able to pull this back very far. I've seen very strong individuals not be able to pull the band all the way to their chest because they're so tight here and the back muscles are so stretched out and weak. So I would recommend, if this is your case, to do a lot of these within your workout to build up 
that strength through that range of motion to build up healthy shoulders. Lastly, if you have a TRX, it's not mandatory, but if you got one, let's use it. So we're gonna do an exercise I call the snow angel, and it's a good mobility exercise for the shoulders. We're gonna grab at the blue portion of the TRX, and we're gonna walk forward. I'm gonna have my shoulders down, and I'm just gonna make a standing snow angel. So if you know the lion in the snow version, this is that. The further back I am, a little bit easier. The further forward I am, a little bit harder. Now what we're looking for is good, smooth movement through the full range of motion. The nice thing about the TRX is it supports me very well when I go behind my back. What we're not looking for is trying to get as forward as we can and then have to hitch to bring the range of motion behind us or up. So I want to be nice and smooth. I'm going to focus on any sticking points that I have. And if I can do this smoothly, I will challenge myself by walking forward. When I'm going upward, I'm thinking about pulling my shoulder blades down and not letting it roll up and forward to facilitate the movement. It says that I want pure shoulder flexion and extension mobility. So if you have a TRX, I would throw that in as your warm up. You can do three sets of 10 or one set of 20. It's a great one to get those shoulders going. So thanks again for watching. If you like the video, please like it down below. Also consider subscribing. I'll put different videos out. Maybe I'll do a strength one since this one isn't really for strength or injured shoulders. So maybe I'll work on that next time. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.